Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This time we are going racing with A-Class cars. However, they must be fitted with a V6 engine. Now, a little while ago, we ran some V8s. In fact, V8s in a lower class that made things more interesting. V6s perhaps don't get used quite as much. Again, it's just kind of giving us some different vehicles to drive. Some might have uh, engine swaps, like the Shroko, for example. There aren't very many V6 engines swap, sadly, available. Not as many as they used to be in some of the motorsport games. Well, Motorsport 7? I don't know. One of them had a V6 for just about every car. I think it was a 370Z engine. Anyway, I've got a GTO. Uh, I I don't have a great track record with this car. I like the GTO very, very much. Uh, however, never really made it work in a Forza game. However, I have seen some of these go quite quickly in the past. Figured I'd have a go at trying to make one work. All-wheel drive will also be quite nice, considering it's winter. Of course, I have got rally tyres on the vehicle. There may be some, I can't imagine many, but there might be some that try without. Um, in, in winter, oh, that's a fun place to go out of ghost mode. Uh, through there, we have something having a look behind. Did not, uh, nothing came of it. Um, I like the livery on the insignia. Very uh, classic BTCC going on right there. Uh, yeah, GTO, I don't have a great track record. We're going to give it a try. We're going to see what happens. It might be really fast. Uh, All-wheel drive is good out here. We've got good tyres. Uh, there may be some that chance it, but there'll only be a couple of races, potentially, that won't feature some snow. So you'd be quite mad and probably around the back for a lot of stuff uh, in these current conditions. Points-wise, we're looking quite good for a team. So, for a team? For red team. I brain not work function today, it would seem. <laughs> I've not slept much, so <laughs> we're going to be doing sleepy driving. This could only go well. Maybe oh, we have led the first lap. Maybe this is what... No, don't do this every week. It'd be a dumb idea. Uh, <laughs> we are leading from an insignia. I'll be honest, half the cars you forget have a V6 in them. Um, it's a little bit difficult. Forza doesn't always tell you the most information. But yeah, I've kind of forgotten about the, the insignia. I was... I was going to run a Japanese car today. I was, I was determined to be running a Japanese car. It's between the GTO and the 300ZX. Both sports cars I like. Both sports cars I hope to own at some point. And, oh, the Insignia is a little faster than me. Uh, and the end I went for the GTO for the all-wheel drive. For when we come to the rallying stuff, the off-road stuff, as these team adventures tackle both tarmac and dirt races, uh, I figured, yeah, the all-wheel drive might be a little bit better. I couldn't build a 300ZX I was happy with with all-wheel drive. So I've got gone for, gone for this one. Uh, we are going to start coming under threat soon, I should think. We might have to start defending. Now, I think the Insignia is a smidge faster than me. However, a smidge faster is not always the easiest to get past. Uh, if I can be defensive around here, which we will have to potentially be, um, the Insignia will possibly have a tough time if it doesn't come breezing past us in a straight line. Uh, it is a little faster. Annoyingly, it's a little faster down the straight. It's going to have to go the long way around this next corner, which is not really where you want to be stuck on the outside of uh, here. It is not a fun place to try and make that stick. Uh, we are going to... Now, you don't want to put your wheels on the snow. On the inside, it will make you a little slower through the mid corner. We are out the other side, and still it looks for a way past. Still it looks. We have a slightly better run down here. Blue team are scoring some more points. They're racking up points further back. I should possibly be a little bit worried. Uh, where is that car going to go? It's looking around. I've carried quite a lot of speed through there. I want to make sure I can get across to defend. In fact, we were relatively fast through that corner, so we were safe. It's a very small braking zone into that hairpin, especially in these kind of cars. You know, we've got all-wheel drive, uh, as I said, all-wheel drive rally tyres. I think it's going to be crazy powerful. Uh, nothing's going to be crazy. All uh, well, these cars are quite heavy that we've got running around. Certainly, you know, me and Longbow's car are going to be a little bit heavier. We party on the apex through turn one. Now, the Insignia wants to get to the inside, or wants to basically set it up for the inside going up the hill. That's what the Voxel is looking to do. Uh, cannot get it worked this time. Uh, now, you won't have a dive here. It's, it's such a small braking zone. You're not going to be able to get your car alongside for a dive there. Uh, we're going to just run it through. Again, it's park on the apex, defendo time. Got to be a smidge careful that Leathercap doesn't catch us in whatever that is. Corrado, I think, back there. Um, but we have now pull. Again, it's just it's defending. We, we take away the line the Insignia wants to run, and then it struggles uh, to... Oh, that might be a little too deep. 
I think I might have beansed it on my own through there. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a very good move, actually. Didn't think there was space for the Vauxhall to get to the inside. It found a little gap and went for it. Yeah, I threw it away on my own. Rule number one of defending, don't make a mistake. Rule number one of defensive driving, do not make a mistake. Because if you've got a car behind that is uh, quicker, it will punish you. We're trying to... I'm trying to be so brave on the outside. We're still there. But it's going to be our turn to be stuck going the long way round up the hill. Do I want to try that? No. We saw how badly it went for the Insignia. Do I have another choice here? Not really. It's the final lap of the race. We're going to try and make something happen. It will not quite work. Can I duck underneath through here? Don't run the Insignia to the wall. Don't be unsporting. Insignia gave us space. We all give it space through here. We're now side by side onto the back straight. Here comes the Corrado behind. If we trip over each other too much, the Corrado could get the pair of us here. Uh, <laughs> this is a fantastic battle. Uh, we have not given up on the outside line here. Uh, the Insignia is going to make basically the same mistake I did last lap, but the Insignia keeps it down low. Can I get the exit of the hairpin? No, I cannot. The Vauxhall will take it. In the end, we get a good run out of the hairpin. It will not be enough. Not even a sneaky dive underneath is going to be enough. What a race. Well done, Longbow. My mistake. My tiniest of goofs cost us... Oh, the game gave it to me. No, Longbow won that one. The game not counting. <laughs> nope. Nope, I do not accept. I do not deserve that one. Well done, Longbow. Very, very good race. Very, very good race. I mean, I threw everything at the back of the uh, Vauxhall trying to, trying to repass it. Um, couldn't quite make it work in the end. Points-wise, I don't think that cost blue team the round win but uh yeah silly error from me uh we've tried to fight back i couldn't quite force the issue the gto is good that i am pleased about so we head off road next the lakehurst woodland scramble will be the venue of choice a couple of long straights a little bit of a nasty dirt section uh, the gto I'm expecting to be relatively decent around here. Um, Ranger Raptor might be quite good at the dirt. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have to wait and see, really, depending on. Uh, I'll say this. We'll see how things see how things go. Now there may be some cars that aren't all-wheel drive. The NSX looks like that might still possibly be rear-wheel drive. Um, as I said, with the conditions, with it being winter, it's likely to be more cars converted, swapped than you might see in a normal a normal session. Uh, Blue have got a 1-2 at the moment. Where is the Vauxhall? Also, uh, you know, the Corrado could be a threat out here. That seems to have got some good straight line speed. Certainly up the hill that thing has pulled away from the rest of us. I've got to go around the outside of a Dino. Nope, uh, not going to go around the outside of a Dino because the Dino's not stopping for the dirt corner. We'll just duck back underneath it. Uh, we will take that position from you. Hopefully, I think Twisty's got one of the Buicks. Um, if that can come with us that would be quite nice so we are a little better on the dirt than the Volkswagen oh gone down one too many gears good thing we're not running sim damage uh, <laughs> didn't mean to go down down that many so I think we're a little bit better on the dirt than the Volkswagen I think we're a little bit more stable than that car we've certainly gained so yeah we're better through the corners but it has us in terms of top speed okay it's not too bad we can we can do this fight, or it certainly has us in terms of straight line speed up that hill. Uh, yeah, okay. so it's got us in straight line speed. We've got to try and catch it through the corners. It's not the biggest differential I've ever had to work with. You know, that's good. <laughs> it's a good sign. It's not the craziest yeah, dif differential. This is definitely the most competitive I've ever had a GTO. I can say that much. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a clip on the wall. That's the sort of mistake that cost me in the battle with the Insignia. Well, should have should have cost me. I was technically given it, but uh, yeah, should have cost me. Now, you see, the problem for Lerica, of course, is also is not as far away as it needs to be coming towards the dirt technical section, although I've also... See, I, I get compromised a little bit if we're too close to the Corrado. I can't necessarily take as much speed as I want to through here. Oh, Corrado's got to try and get across the checkpoint. I've got to try and get across the checkpoint, so now I have to lift from a place where I should have been flat out. Yeah, you, you kind of, you can end up getting a little bit compromised. Did the Corrado get the checkpoint? It was very close on the inside of that. I think uh, must have done. It would have been reset by now, but we will take the lead away from the Volkswagen here as we come on to the tarmac. And again, we can, <laughs> we're compromising Volkswagen in places. The Insignia is up in fourth. There goes that Corrado again to the outside. Uh, however, 
you're not going to be able to make that one quite work there. Will probably outdrag me. It's going to be an interesting battle for the rest of the race because off it goes into the distance. And again, we won't lead across that start finish line. So last time we were quick through here because the Corrado ended up in a wall. That's how we were alongside. This time we are just closer, but the Corrado doesn't visit the scenery. I think I have to get clear, perhaps even on the dirt section down towards the hairpin. If I want to win, I've got to be clear by the hairpin. I've got to be in front by the hairpin, not just overtaking into the hairpin. Which is easier said than done. The Corrado's a little out of shape coming onto this section. Come on, GTO. You can do this. You can do this. Let's not get caught up with the Volkswagen. The Volkswagen actually not having as big of a, a issue coming down here. So again, we're going to reel in. It's going to be almost identical. I wanted to go to the outside and then didn't quite get there in time. We will <laughs> put the nose ahead. Not enough. The Buick's not too far behind either. Points-wise, is still looking pretty good for us. Oh, they're up in the fence. A little bit of a lean. Just the slightest of leans. A little lean is okay. Uh, not really what I want to be doing though. Cost me as much time as anything. We'll again get a really, really good run out of the final corner of the Corrado visiting the wall, visiting the grass might put itself in a bit of trouble here. Uh, we are neck and neck across the line. We'd again lose the race to the finish line, but we still have a little more time because now I can hope to compromise the Volkswagen. Just a little bit. Compromise its line, make it slow up the hill. We can maybe stay ahead, try and not fight each other too much that the Buick and Vauxhall catch up. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. I thought, even, I thought maybe that time it would be enough to get past, but no, not quite. So, the Volkswagen defends heavily at the top of the hill. We will not get underneath it, because again, I'm taking a little bit of a wonky line. I'm amazed the Buick and Vauxhall haven't caught us as we do this, to be honest, because uh, we have been fighting each other quite a lot here. Oh, that's a big twitch from the VW, but it twitches directly in front of me. That doesn't help. For the hairpin we go, right. We're going to cut back underneath. We have the drive off the corner. Now the Buick is starting to catch. Yeah, we can't fight like that and not get caught by the cars behind. They are not slow cars that are behind us here. Uh, we are on to the tarmac. Oh, the Volkswagen's made a mistake. Did not see what had happened to the Corrado in the end. Uh, a mistake was made for that Volkswagen, and it took a trip to the wall. That will promote me up to the lead. Can we stay ahead? Of the Buick, I should think so. Uh, unless we do something stupid. Don't miss a checkpoint. You know, after all of this fighting, don't do something really stupid like miss a checkpoint. It's easily done on this track. Uh, it's possible that the, uh, the Lurkup had to either change direction massively to try and get a checkpoint because they've cut in too far to a corner. Uh, it should be a simple controller playing silly buggers, that sort of stuff. It's a shame. That was a really good battle. It would be interesting to see if the Corrado could have got me back sort of towards the start finish line in that one but it is uh, it is not to be so the gto i was hoping it was gonna be pretty decent out here i would say works pretty well on the dirt works pretty well indeed uh, points wise is gonna go our way uh, mostly because of the one two actually for red team the rest of our cars are okay nothing special the ranger's actually not doing as great as i might have thought of it but well, this is probably not the this isn't the most ridiculous circuit in terms of off-roading you can get away with a little less of an off-road spec car for this one because probably two-thirds of it is tarmac and the dirt section is not too technical uh, there's a little bit of slow speed stuff but it's not the worst dirt section we are going to take victory i think we are pulling away now from the second and third place cars victory goes to the gto twisty takes second with the regal that will be enough points for us. We will take round number two. Unlucky for Leather Cap. That was a, good, that was a great battle. That was a great battle for four of the five laps. <sighs> right, on to the next one. So, our next race, we head to the Bambara Coast Circuit. Now, this one will not actually be on snow. Well, of course, it is winter and there is snow about. The roads are clear. Oh, wow, the game is being really kind. Generally, if the game is being this kind to me in starting positions, Another race or another adventure is going to suck. <laughs> I don't quite know how it draws. I presume it's just random, random draw for the grid. Um, yeah, I mean, can't really complain. At a, at a nice front row start, uh, we should hopefully be able to run into the distance a little bit. Uh, whether my car will be the fastest out here, I don't know. Um, we will have to wait and see. I think the gate... So, Corrado is going to beat us. 
the reason why we get the wonky finishing positions is essentially the game sometimes is a little bit laggy with releasing cars. So what you saw there is the Corrado was moving before I was released. Now that little time differential gets added on at the end um, of a race. Which is why you can be second and finish first. It's a stupid system, uh, but it shouldn't be releasing cars wrong anyway. So if I am, I, I believe, uh, with the look of that start, uh, if I was right behind the Corrado, for example, when we crossed the finish line, it would probably give me the win. Uh, for some reason, it seems to be holding me a little bit on the grid. Uh, I think the Sentra's front-wheel drive, which might explain why that was slow off the line. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's front-wheel drive to start with, but whether it's kept being kept front-wheel drive, I don't know. The Corrado, definitely not still front-wheel drive. Uh, that's a really big, angry pack of cars. Something is absolutely flying. What on earth is that? <laughs> oh, Christ, the Sentra's quick! Dear God, the Sentra's really fast! What the heck? hell is in that thing? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, let's... Uh, I mean, I was expecting this to be a battle. I was expecting it to be a battle with me and the Corrado. I don't think I'm quick enough, perhaps, to chase down that. My gear ratios are a little bit balked in this car. A bit too late to do much about that. Now, um... Jeez, that's, that may be the GTR engine, if that's a swap. Might explain. Might also explain why it struggled so far if it's not on rally tyres, and I don't think rally tyres and that engine would work in A-Class pretty much. So yeah, maybe that thing is absolutely garbage through these corners, but that is so unbelievably fast down the straights. The Corrado looks like a quite a handful through the corner. Now that could could well be the classic front-wheel drive to something conversion. Ooh, okay, you can go that way. Goodbye, Sentra. Yeah, we're not beating that, I don't think. Uh, I might... I mean, if, if Blue Team want to have a fight over the lead, that would actually work wonders for me. I'm not beating the Sentra, but with a little bit of sneaky luck, maybe we could get past the Corrado, although now I might have run into the back of the Nissan and have some problems. Uh, we're going to try and get up the inside of the Sentra. I've got oil drive, don't care about the snow there. Uh, we will get past that. Now, we're going to get repassed. Don't care, it'll repass us down the back straight. Uh, it might even pass both of us. We'll have to wait and see. Point's not good for us here. Things are not working out for our cars all that well on on this race. So we'll defend the inside a little bit. But now you see, this is where we're too far back from the Volkswagen to be able to do all of that much. It gets a slide through the final corner, but that won't matter enough. All right, go on then, Sentra. You can go <laughs> shooting past. Do your thing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's off. I mean, that might actually now clear us all through the twisty sections. It might be far enough away to clear us all, you see. We can reel back in to the Corrado through here. It's just that the straights are too long for me. Although we might actually get the move done here. If we can compromise the Volkswagen enough, that would be good. Uh, we will jump across there. Yeah, the Nissan's going to win this, barring any, any mistakes from the centre. This is a checkpoint. You know, it's in trouble. I, we're just not scoring any points in this one. Uh, eccentric Mr. Checkpoint doesn't help matters, that much is for sure. Uh, can we pull... Oh, it's a bit of an ambitious attempt from the Corrado. I think it's in the end it's going to work out worse for the Volkswagen because it's going to struggle... Yep, yeah. <laughs> it's going to struggle really strong getting around these final few corners on that wonkier line. Uh, that will put me up into second. God damn, that thing's fast. <laughs> just off into the distance. We're back to having an insignia behind us, uh, barring massive mistake from me, a really bad first quarter from me as well, about to say barring a massive mistake from me, don't think it's going to have time to catch us, even if it may be slightly faster and I completely butchered up the first corner. Um, yeah, that was terrible driving from me. We did all the hard work to catch up to the uh, Volkswagen and now we've got past it. Oh, driving a bit like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> ah well, we're still safe-ish. Yeah, okay, I've screwed this lap up. It won't, again, in the long run, it won't actually matter. Points-wise, we're not going to be able to do anything. It's not like we're 50 points away from from winning or 100 points away from winning. So I, sadly, cannot really do all that much more here. Uh, things did not go our way in this one. Things did not go the way of Red Team. This time out, that Sentra is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> it will win. It will win by... A decent margin. I should get second place here. Maybe it'll swap the positions back from earlier. Uh, will it Will it give, keep second for me? No, it didn't. It gave the position to Longbow. It, well, we're sharing. We're sharing the positions, it would seem. <laughs> Christ.
Christ. <laughs> oh, Forza. Oh, Forza. You never fail to entertain me here. Um, but there we go. Blue team very much won this round. So, up next, we head back on to the snow. The Tarnhouse Scramble Circuit will be the race of or the circuit of choice. Now, this time I am at the very back of the field. Sentra probably not going to enjoy this one quite as much. There is a little bit of tarmac. You'll probably be very, very, very fast up that little bit of tarmac, but then the rest of this is dirt. Um, there's a bit of a nice patch. There's a chance of rolling over. I say less likely with these cars. I never actually know. Really, some weird cars fall over on the dirt patch, so it might be possible that we see some cars fall over. Uh, Ever. I'm hoping the GTO is going to be... It was pretty good at the first dirt circuit. Now this one here is, is full, well, almost full dirt. Uh, much more sort of technical dirt uh, will probably, hopefully, work well. We can see the Sentra already plummeting back through the order. I mean, that is the fun of having the, you know, the really specialised cars. You can get a car that, you know, in this group with everyone mostly playing it safe because of winter and the potential for, well, this sort of race... If you do go for the crazy specialised car, when you get to one of the circuits where it works, you know, you can <laughs> you can fly. You can cause all sorts of mayhem. So, yeah, that is the, uh, that is the fun you can have. Uh, we are going to try and get through. I mean, there's been a lot of kerfuffles trying to get to checkpoints, pretty much, as we work our way up. I mean, this is a very, very busy pack of cars currently. The Buick has got to the lead. Uh, we haven't really seen the Jag all that much. Uh, so far, and I know that's tied up towards the front and everything, but we've got red cars, one and two. If we win this round, it will be a red team victory for the adventure overall. Um, which would be good, you know. We might be able to wrap it up here. I think we're better, we stand a better chance off-road uh, than we do on the tarmac, that is for sure. Uh, oh, Longbow and Leathercat kind of tripped over each other almost around there. I do want to get involved in this fight if I can. I think I am slightly better on the dirt than these cars. Uh, Corrado missed the checkpoint. <laughs> it did look a little bit suspicious. I mean, that's not particularly helpful, especially not from a teammate uh, through there. Now, the Ranger will probably have an advantage in tyres, so there is a slight difference. The trucks, well, the trucks start with off-road orientated tyres. Scotty missed a checkpoint as well. We're not doing well for checkpoints at the moment. Um, but, yes, yeah, so a lot of the off-roaders start with off-road orientated tyres, and the vehicles that do, when you get rally tyres, they get slightly different, basically, slightly different tyres, got of off-road racing tyres, which are marginally better. It's one of the reasons why the Stelvio was so very fast on the beach rally, because it got these special tyres. So if we are in full dirt conditions, like this, in the snow, those tyres can work very, very well. Um, now, I, I don't think, I think I've got stuck in the traffic too long, and I can't do anything about Longbow's Vauxhall. Even if I think I might be able to have a car that could run with it, I don't think I'm going to be able to, sadly. Uh, through here. Uh, I didn't really want third. The, the VW's got some go about it, actually. <laughs> Lots of it has got some go about it down the straights if it can get it stopped and get it turned in. It's a very good battle we're a part of here over the podium. It doesn't look like we're going to score enough points. Getting second, third, fourth, and fifth is a huge chunk of points. It's very difficult to overcome. But Longbow is going to... <laughs> finally! Longbow is going to take that probably deserved victory with the Insignia. And if anything goes wrong, of course, there's still a couple of laps to go. And we're going to try to run to the outside of the Buick. It's not quite going to work. Through there, unfortunately. Nope. We were going to have to sit back into line. There's nothing I can really do here uh, other than just watch the cars run ahead of us. Can I sneak around the outside? We're always making it three wide it, within our team for second place. It's for honours amongst red team. I think this is the third lap in a row I've been stuck behind a car through there. Uh, not going to be able to do anything here. I'm all out of position, actually. Can we duck underneath the Buick there? Yep, Buick's not got the grip. That will slide off towards the wall and fall back slightly towards the clutches of the Ford. Longo's not really got too far away. I think, I think we are all... I think we're not too dissimilarly matched for speed here. It's just we've fought each other too much back here. Longbow got a good move onto this through that corner there to duck underneath both the red cars. Oh, twisty Mr. Checkpoint. After all of their saying, 
We need one more position. I can't get it. Me and Eccentric. Speed Beast, nothing we can do. We need a place to come from further back. Um, that's a possible game changer. That is possibly a game changer. Um, we have got it. So, I mean, Twisty's car is very fast. We'd expect to see that be able to climb back up perhaps a little bit through here. Uh, we have got that position now. <laughs> the centre is going to get lapped. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a specialist car for you. Absolutely thrashed us all around one circuit. Come back to here, though, a track that it doesn't work on. Oh, the golf's going to get me as well. Uh, I, was try I was trying to duck underneath, but the golf actually did a pretty good job of defending that corner. Um, yeah, you come back to a circuit where it doesn't work on. I mean, this is about as un unfriendly as you get for a non-off-road car. Almost as unfriendly. Amble size, the, the worst option. We might get the golf in the end for second here. Um, oh, yeah, you don't want to be on the outside through there. <laughs> I'm always going to be... I'm always going to be brave through that one. We will claim victory here. I think it'll be enough for Red Team as long as we get... As long as Twisty gets 8th and the other car... Well, the other car's going to score 100 points each because the centre is done. Um, as twif as Twisty gets 8th, which Twisty does, that will be enough. Just, it was close. It was closer than we would have liked, really. But, it was close. Red Team will take victory. <laughs> We have got a tarback race at least to finish, so the Centra might not have quite as bad of a time there. So, this is the final round. We have Blue Team fighting for honour. I would like a, another victory, really. We have a better starting spot here. Uh, there is no snow, of course, going to be on the road. There is... You know, there's no snow actually on the circuit, but if you go a little bit offline, you can find it. So you do have to be a smidge careful if you're in a car without the old uh, the old rally tyres. Um, the Sentra might struggle to use its power here. Uh, <laughs> this, this is not the biggest circuit. There are a couple of straights where that car's going to be quick. Um, it is starting on pole, but will quickly... Well, it'll fall back a little bit to start with. It's... Yeah, how quickly it gets going. How quickly it goes shooting up through the field. NSX might not be terrible uh, around here. Uh, yeah, I'd expect that to probably be okay. We know the NSX is normally a pretty good car in general on Forza. Uh, Rear-wheel drive unlikely to quite work so well on, on the dirt and such. But it seems to be going alright. Sentra's fallen a fair way back. We'll see what it does. Down the back. Uh, I mean, the back straight is where it's going to gain on us, but I think it might lose too much through here. This is just too technical for a car. Regardless of its its power, it's not going to have the grip of the rest of us with the the tyres. Your off-road tyres, your rally tyres are basically the second, potentially third grippiest tyre if you count the vintage race slicks. Um, but yeah, these are very very good tyres. Basically, the rally tyres. Uh, so we can carry quite a lot of quarter speed. I ran a little too deep. Into that one, forgot. Well, I say forgot my car's a bit heavier. That's a bit heavier than the normal sort of cars you'd end up running uh, on Forza. We're talking just over £3,000. Uh, it's full weight reduction. The GTO is just always going to be a little bit of a, of a heavier beast. Uh, we're going to go around the outside of the Insignia. Yes, we do. <laughs> Wasn't 100% sure that was going to work. However, it did do. Um, so, I will take that. Now I've got to go back chasing after my teammate again. I do feel like the GTO is pretty good here. If I can get my braking right and don't visit that wall on the outside. I've visited that wall too many times in previous races around here. And I don't want to go and play with it again. Oh, don't want to play with the inside wall there either. That's another one I've hit at various times. Says the centre. That's in fifth at the moment. We are 50 points to the good currently. Now, this can all change. The Ranger is probably not going to enjoy life around here quite as much uh, as <laughs> some of them. Ah, we got street furniture on the outside through there. Uh, bloody hell. Come on, if I could get a good lap together, I think I have got a decent chance. I just seem to be making tiny little errors, mostly at the final corner. This time we're not close enough to try the around the outside on the Insignia. The Insignia can sweep the street furniture out of the way this time. That's what we're going to go for. Uh, can I get underneath it for the run. I mean, I can do this. The issue I'll find is, sure, I can get alongside. Do I really want to go around the outside here? No, not not particularly. That ends in disaster nine times out of ten. Hence why we're going to back out of it. Uh, <laughs> bugger, can anybody else score some more points further back from Red Team? I'm not sure I have the speed. Well, I think I have the speed. I'm not sure I have the consistency, it would say. Twisties 
in that group behind with the Buick. There may be some more points coming from back there. Uh, yeah, there we go. So now it's Longbow's turn to get screwed by street furniture. Problem is, there's really one line through turn one and turn two. <laughs> That's basically what you get through there. It's very narrow, very, very easy to miss checkpoints. Uh, we're going to go to the outside. Oh, Longbow. <laughs> <laughs> cannot get past. And this is what Scotty wants to see. This is great news for Scotty. The more we do this, oh, the less likely it's to work. Ah, oh, etc. Mr. Checkpoint. Red team are done. Thankfully, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I went down one too many gears because I forgot this car has really long gears. And I think that might be my challenge for second over, barring a mistake from the Vauxhall, which there... <laughs> Which almost immediately does end up coming. We're running a little too deep through there. Uh, what have we got going on behind us? Oh, uh, the Buick. The Buick has actually worked pretty well. It's just the Golf. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, missed checkpoints. They happen around this circuit. Uh, the NSX, I think, is mostly safe up at the front. Most don't say that, of course. Curse the commentator. You know what it can be like. Come on, GTO. We're not really as close as we want to be through here. Not really going to be close enough. Uh, we can take quite a... That's actually a really, really nice line through there. Longbow brushes the wall. Uh, now, Longbow is going to force the point. I have a good run. I don't normally like going to this really tight line through here. It's about the only option we have, though. Uh, Longbow was clever to defend that. There wasn't much other option. I think it was worth a try. You never know if it might come off. Uh, can we get a good exit? We will, but it won't be... It won't be quite fast enough in the grand scheme of things. Longbow's still defending through here. Come on, GTO, get on that power nice and soon. <laughs> it's not enough. We're going to spend a race staring at the back of the Insignia. It's going to be last of the late breakers up here. Will Longbow go super defensive? Can I squeeze a pass underneath? No, Longbow blocks it. No room, no room. Longbow will take second. I will have to settle for a third place in the end. That time, Forza gets the finishing positions correct. Oh, Red Team won't quite win that one. Ah, oh, we had the Buick in fourth at least, that's something. Damn, a good fight. Again, another really good race. Another really, really good race at the end of that. Unfortunate for our golf. Uh, missed, missed checkpoint is, uh, yeah, far far from ideal. Thankfully, we'd wrap things up before going to this uh, particular race. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for this adventure. Ignore the end screen, because, again, falls a struggle with the counting bits. Uh... <laughs> That was, that was some good fun. The V6s proved to be an awful lot of fun. I like my GTO. It's the best GTO I've ever built. It works. Pretty good off-road. Um, pretty fast on it, to be honest. So, there we have it. Um, that, that will be it for this week's Versus the Community. If you'd like to sign up and take part in the next one, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Find the Farrax Best of the Community section and you can sign up in there. That though, shall be it from me. Thank you all for watching and until next time, a uh, goodbye.